Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to show you how we derive the angle of resolution equation for circle apertures. Now here we have uh, pictorially what, uh, what this means is we have a screen that has a very small hole in it. The radius of the hole is A, the diameter of the hole is D which is equal to 2A and some far distance further away there's a screen and if light passes through the initials, the initial small hole with wavelength lambda, it's going to form a diffraction pattern on the screen which is circular in nature because the aperture is circular over here. And you can see that you have the central maximum, the first minimum, the second maximum, or I should say central, this is the first maximum, this is the second minimum, second maximum, third minimum, so forth. So we have that circular pattern that moves out which is called the diffraction pattern and the intensity as a function of the angle theta here can be written as I sub naught which is the intensity at the very center times two times the Bessel function of the first order of the quantity Ka sine of theta divided by Ka sine of theta. So J sub 1 is known as the, as the Bessel function of the first order. K is the wave number which is 2 pi divided by lambda and the sine of theta since it's a small angle theta is equal to the tangent of theta which can be written as R over L. R being the opposite side L being the adjacent side, the distance to the screen, and R is the radius of the circular diffraction pattern on the screen. Now the Bessel function is an interesting function, it's kind of a complicated uh, function, but what it shows, wh when you graph it, what it shows is that it is kind of an oscillating function like that, that gets smaller and smaller as you go out, and if the Bessel function of first order is a function of x, you can see that when x becomes certain values, the Bessel function goes to zero. So it's kind of like a sine function, but with diminishing magnitude. And notice that when x is equal to 3.832, the Bessel function becomes zero. When x is equal to 7.016, it goes to zero. When x is equal to 10.173, it goes to zero, and so forth. Now notice that the intensity will go to zero when the Bessel function goes to zero. So at each of those locations, the Bessel function will go to zero, which means the intensity goes to zero, which means you find your minimum. So that means that this here will represent the first minimum, so let's call it x sub 1, let's call this x sub 2, and let's call this x sub 3. Those are the values for x where the Bessel function goes to zero, representing the first minimum, the second minimum, the third minimum, and so forth. So if you want to find out what the distance is to that particular minimum, we can do that. If you want to find out what the angle is to that particular minimum, we can do that simply by taking the function, the Bessel function right here, the contents of it, and set it equal to those particular values. So what we're going to do for the first order, or for the first minimum, we know that Ka times the sine of theta must equal 3.8 8, all right, now let's see what we can do with that function. Well, first of all, we can write the sine of theta as r over l. So this can be written as k times a times r over l equals 3.832. Then we can replace k by 2 pi over lambda. So let's go ahead and do that, 2 pi over lambda. And a can be written in terms of the diameter as d divided by 2, right? So a can be written as the diameter divided by 2, the diameter of the aperture. So this can be written as times d over 2 times r over l is equal to 3.832. And notice that this 2 cancels out that 2. All right, now, we can express the function, the equation, in terms of either r. We can solve for r. What is the distance to the first minimum in terms of r? Or we can do it in terms of theta or sine of theta. So let's do it both ways. Let's first solve this equation for r. So we can say that r, the distance to the first minimum, is equal to 3.832 divided by pi, pi comes down here, times, let's see, l goes to the numerator, lambda goes to the numerator, divided by the diameter right there. Okay, so this, now with a calculator, let's go ahead and work that out. 3.832 divided by pi is equal to 1.22. So that means that the radius, the distance to the first minimum, is equal to 1.22 times the distance to the screen times lambda divided by d. So that would be one way in which we can express the 
what we call the angle of resolution in terms of the distance to the first minimum. But since we really want the angle of resolution, it might be better to simply write r over l as sine of theta. So when we bring the l down here, we can say, well, r divided by l is equal to 1.22 times lambda over d. And of course, r over l can be written as a sine of theta. So we can say that the sine of theta is equal to 1.22 times the wavelength divided by the diameter of the aperture, and that is, of course, the equation that we've seen before that describes the resolution angle of a circular aperture. Sometimes, instead of simply writing the sine of theta, where theta is in degrees, we can simply write theta, which is in radians, is equal to 1.22 times lambda over d, and that would be another way in which we can write the equation to determine the resolution angle of a circular aperture. So if, in case you were wondering where those equations came from, now you know where they came from. It simply comes from a derivation that, that, that it then derives the Bessel function as a function of theta, and that can then be solved to solve for the various values for the angle that describe where the minima occur. So this is, of course, the equation for the first minimum. If we want to know the equation for the second minimum, then we can simply say, okay, for the second minimum, we take that equation, divide by 3.832, and multiply it by 7.016. So 1.22 divided by 3.832 times 7.016 equals, and that gives us 2.23. So that means that theta for the second minimum, this is for the first minimum, for the second minimum is equal to, and what did my equation, my calculator said 2.23, 2.23, lambda over d, and we got this simply by replacing, instead of writing 3.832, we then replaced it by 7.016 to get the second minimum, replaced it by 10.173 to get the third minimum, and so forth. And that's how those equations were derived. That's the equation for the circular aperture of, um, of the diffraction.